repent meaning to change because there's a change that's necessary you understand like as a people we need to change the reason why we need to repent and change because there's a war on its way due to unpopular belief we don't realize that war is coming war is at our doorsteps war is right around the corner Some of y'all may have not heard the breaking news that just happened, man. But allow me to tell you, Palestine just got finished attacking the Israeli state, which would be the so-called Jewish man that we know today, which is our oppressor. If you are so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, what you need to do right now is what you need to do is adhere to the priests and prophets of the Lord. It's absolutely necessary if you are so-called black, Hispanic, or Native Indian to listen to the, to the men of God, to listen to the priests and the prophets of the Lord who the Most High set up. Because this is high time, you understand? Like it's time to come into this truth. It's time to come back and keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. It's time to conduct ourselves in a way that's acceptable to the Most High. I understand acceptable to God like that's something necessary and imperative for our people to know you got Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 we about to get into it man you got it go ahead Matthew 4 verse 17 from that time you help Jesus began to preach say what Jesus time. began to preach for that time Jesus began to speak you understand Jesus which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach in the Hebrew all right that is Jesus Christ. He is our king. He is the king that's going to rule the earth. Unlike the Christian church, due to unpopular belief, no one understands what the kingdom of heaven is about. No one understands what heaven actually looks like. You understand? No one, because of the Christian church, because of our oppressor, we don't know what Christ come, comes to do. We don't know what Christ came to do. That's because Christians don't really know the Bible. You understand? That's because our oppressor never understood the Bible. Like this, but this Bible right here, like these words actually mean something. Like these scriptures, these chapters, these verses throughout the scriptures, they actually mean something to a certain nation or race of people. But because of our oppressor and because of the Christian church, we don't know what it's talking about. We don't know what it's saying. We don't know why Christ came. We don't know why Christ is coming. Well, today, our people are going to know today. You understand? People are going to learn today what Christ come for and what Christ is coming for. We're going to know, we're going to learn about the kingdom of heaven today. We're going to learn about heaven today. You got that scripture? I'll continue reading. Matthew 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say. And to say because the Lord is saying something. Christ is about to say something right here. It says what? Repent. Say what? Repent. Say what? Repent. Repent meaning to change. Because there's a change that's necessary, you understand? Like as a people, we need to change. The reason why we need to repent and change, because there's a war on its way. Due to unpopular belief, we don't realize that war is coming. War is at our doorsteps. War is right around the corner. How many of y'all knew that World War Three is already on its way? It's at its front door. It's knocking. It's coming. Once again, Palestine just attacked the Israeli state over 7,000 missiles, and they don't know why it happened. Well, guess what? The priest and prophet of the Lord today, we're going to tell you why it happened. Right. Because God wanted it to happen. Right. Because God wants war. God is not coming for peace. God is not sending Christ, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, for peace. That's not what Christ is coming for. Christ is coming to start war. Because it's necessary for peace to happen by war. There's a war that's going to have to happen in order for our people to change, for our people to be saved. In America, blacks and Latinos and Native Americans, throughout the entire earth, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, what you see right here on this sign right here, 
we are suffering as a people, man. We are in, the, we're in, in absolute danger because we are living in America and because we decide to join ourselves to America and their gods and their customs and their culture. And we are in danger. And we forfeited our protection by joining ourselves to another nation and races of people and their gods. And because of so, Christ is returning to kick take us out of this danger. And the only way for Christ to come and return to take us out of this danger is to change, right. is to repent, is to come back to the laws of God, to oh. keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, to not eat pork, to not eat shrimp, to not eat lobster, to not be an unaliver, all right, to not, to not conduct ourselves in a way that's not acceptable to the Most High, getting tattoos, getting shape ups, you understand? Almost going to church, going to the mosque, f following Islam, Buddhism, Catholicism, like a Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, the July 4th, like all of these things that we end up doing as a people. And in order to establish the kingdom of heaven, we have to change. We have to repent. You understand? That's why Christ is coming. That's why Christ died for our sins. This is why.